Hi everyone, we're going to be looking at introduction to Vedic Maths today. Well, what does Vedic Maths really mean? Vedic Maths is just logics as and tricks in which you can do calculations, complex calculations within few seconds without using calculators. You may be asking, you may be wondering how, but this is very simple. Just check this trick out and once you are through, you subscribe because we're going to be doing more and more on this. You subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like and you comment. Okay, now let's start with the square root of series of 1. Whenever we have series of 1, as in starting from 1, 1 here. So this is 11 square. What is going to be the answer? It's very simple. Since once, whenever you have series of ones like this this one now we're having two here just like you're having just start with one then you go to two we have two digits here so we have it's going to be one two then from here you take it backward that is going to be what one so the answer is going to be 121 if you don't get that one let's go once i'm through with this by the time i'm going to be through with this you're going to get it very well so we have one 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 square that's 111 square so how many ones do you have here? we have three digits here. so it's going to be one two three then this one is an ascending order we take it descending order that's going to be two one so the answer is one two three two one of course this one now is having four digits so it's going to be one two three four three two one exactly so this one here now we have five good digits so it's going to be one two three four five four three two one you can cross check this using your calculator you get to know that mathematics calculations is very very much simple okay now we are dealing with threes so we all know that three itself the square of three is nine so that's we can just represent it by zero nine so and 33 square that will give you one zero eight nine you can see that the zero nine that i said is here so it shows that 09 will be constant whenever you're having the square of series of threes so 09 will be constant then you'll be changing the values and um, the numbers of um, one and eight in the answer for example now we have two digits here that's why we have only one one and one eight Add it. okay here now we have three digits so three minus three digits you know it's a problem that is going to be two so it's going to get your zero and nine is constant so now we want to insert our ones and eights so since we have three digits here it shows that we are going to have two one then we have two eights okay here we have four digit number of three so this one is going to give us our zero and nine will be constant then we have how many ones since this is four digits that is going to we are going to have three ones so that will be one 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 then three eight that will be eight 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 so this is you can see it so and the last one here that we're going to do on this example is we have five digits of three so don't forget your zeros and nine are constant then you now have it to be one 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 that's four digits and then you have eight 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 so that's your answer you too you can try this using your calculator but we're just trying to check how we can we do this thing that tricks to it so that we can be faster than the calculator of course okay now we're going to move into series of nine you can see 99 square it, once we deal with 33 square now we have it to be 1089 if we write this one backward that's what 9801 of course this is the square of 99 so the answer to the square of 99 is 9801. And don't forget, the second and the last G there are constant. Here yeah, too, they will be constant. So it's just that we are going to, just as we've done for threes, so we are going to be doing that for nine also. So we have it to be zero and, uh, sorry, eight and one to be constant. Then since we have three digits, I show that we are going to introduce two nines and two zeros. Okay. Here we have four digits of nine, so we have it to be, of course, your eight and one are constant. Then, since this is four digits, you introduce three nines. Sorry, so you now have it to be you introduce your three zeros too. Okay, here now we have five good digits, so this one will give us what? 
don't forget your zero uh, sorry your eight and one are constant then you have five nines here so you're going to introduce four nine 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 then zero 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 so that's going to be your answer so okay we're doing this too let's move on to six c square we have c c square as it's six c's. don't forget that c is on its own is 36 so it shows that three and six will be constant so you just be introducing four and five so you just for this one now they're going to be four three five six so it shows that three and six are constant so the, you'll be changing the uh, sorry the numbers of fours and five in your answer so here now we have three digits of six so don't forget three and six itself they are constant so three and six they are constant then you introduce now how many number four that will be two since we have three digits here eh? and here too you yeah, introduce what two fives so you two you can cross check this using your calculator and here too you have four digits here so it shows that that will be what three and six are constant then you have it to be four 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 that's three digits of four and five 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 so this is just the first phase this is lesson one the first lesson on this introduction to vedic mass so don't forget to subscribe to our channel for you to see the other videos thank you